biggest mistake everyone makes is about mixing wasabi into soy sauce. All these sushi items would have a different amount of wasabi depending on what the fish is. Especially things like white fish where it's thinner, the amount of wasabi we use is lesser. There are some sushi that we, do not, we don't use any wasabi. So therefore if you make wasabi paste in here, it's going to be like, everything is going to taste the same. So we will pour a little bit of soy sauce paste, a little bit of the piece you want to eat on your side plate, and put the amount of wasabi you want per piece. On the piece itself or yes. within? Okay, now to sushi. What's next? Okay. You do not use chopsticks. Okay, fine. Chopsticks the entire down. world got this wrong. You get a few uh, young Japanese also kind of do this. Pick it up, put it on Dip one side. So you're not eating soy sauce, you're eating sushi. So right. Just a little bit. Then, Gari. This is pickled ginger. Okay. This is to cleanse your palate between pieces of sushi. This is a tricky one. Everyone tries to use chopsticks, place it on the plate that has soy sauce, and the rice disappears. Okay. The art of eating and making good sushi, the rice should not be dense. Okay. It should be just about falling, but not falling. So, nigiri, you pick it up with your fingers, you put the soy sauce on the fish. Then you eat it upside down. Don't come monkey. Some sushi masters will tell you to take the ginger and then dab it on top mm -hmm. so that you get soy sauce there. Mm -hmm. But today we have technology that we put two, two drops of soy sauce on the top. More. Another thing is miso soup is not tea, alright? Okay. So everyone comes here, turns it around, grab it here and if you hold it like this, you can even hold warm food. Okay. Top, hold the bottom and the top edge. Right? And then, you can still stir it here, but not with a teaspoon. Yeah, just the top? Or? I mean, you can do this. Two more things. You never pass things from one chopstick to another. Okay. It's a funeral ritual. Oh, alright. And therefore, it's really not nice food in Japanese restaurant. Another one is to well, pierce your food and okay. pick up. That's a no -no. And piercing and a rice bowl and doing this mm -hmm. is also a funeral. Okay. Any sushi restaurant, you go to Japan, you can't find a Japanese restaurant, you find a sushi restaurant. Okay. And when you find one, they serve you tea. Because saltiness of soy sauce has to be balanced. Oh, That's okay. a lot of tea drinking in a sushi restaurant. It's called agali. Which also means we are done with the meal, please present us with the bill okay. and the tea comes and a few seconds later we do come. And thank you Dashin for um, teaching us what to do and what not to do when it comes to Japanese dining. Come by. Come by.